you did something extraordinary. You managed 535 members of Congress, each with their own agenda. How? You did it successfully. How? Uh, you know, these people also, I, I, I say bluntly, they fall into two categories, sort of 90-10. 90% of them are really great people who are, who are stretched unbelievably thin. You know the number of things you have to vote on and you have to have some at least dim understanding of is much more than the span of control of the Secretary of Defense. I have to have in-depth knowledge of you know, things that affect foreign affairs. And you know, the Defense Department is a pretty big place, so you have to know management and leadership and lots of other things. Mm -hmm. But these people are voting on all kinds of stuff all, all day. And a lot of them had you know, interesting careers. They wouldn't be there if they were in it for the money or mostly the praise or the lack of hassle. And then there are 10% of them that you just want to shoot. <laughs> um, but it, it, I think we tend, time, tend, tend to think it's 1090 and 9010. <laughs> so that's the first thing I have to say about it. And the other thing is that you got to remember that they're there. It's another branch of government. At the end of the day, they have all the money. And so um, they, and they value courtesy. They value honesty. Um, and if you can't give them what they one, you got to be straightforward uh, about it. At the end of the day, they if you're apolitical, as I was and I tried to keep our department out of, and you, they knew that you're not going to swing something their way because of who they are, that there's no way in the world I would ever do a thing like that. They come to sort of, they, they, they come to respect that. And I, I uh, so I, and yet I didn't always enjoy testified, and I testified many, 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 many times, and that's a grueling uh, thing to do, because they can ask you about anything at all, and they'll ask you about some tiny little corner. I never, remember, never forget Bob Gates once being asked, he's in front of a House Armed Services Committee meeting and uh, a hearing, and I was uh, undersecretary at the time, and Bob gets asked this incredibly nitpicky, picky and question by a member of Congress, and Bob was short then. He was like a month from leaving. So he didn't need to put up with us anymore. And he, he looks at the guy for a minute, and then he finally says, Congressman, if I knew the answer to that question, I shouldn't be Secretary of Defense. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd about choke. 